So I'm getting a few things ready to pack up and take over to my brother Rick's place where he has the paint booth where we're going to be painting uh, this truck. Now I've got some lights here. These are two foot by two foot LED panels. Same thing that I've got in here for lighting. I've got a few of these that I haven't installed yet and we're going to use these to give us some bottom lighting in this booth. You'll see the paint booth has lighting up on the ceiling, but none down low. So we want to reduce the shadow on the side of the vehicle for when it is time to paint. So we're going to use these lights for that. And then we have to install this here, same air system that I have in my shop here, all that wraps around the perimeter of the room. This is the three quarter inch kit, Max Line by Rapid Air, great kit. And not a paid endorsement by any stretch. My brother bought this simply because he liked my system so well and I recommended it because uh, I've had zero problems with mine. This is awesome stuff. So I'm gonna get this stuff cleaned up. I gotta put a cord on that light there. And then me and Elizabeth are gonna jump in the car and head over to my brother's place to prep his paint booth and install that system there, that air system. So I'm over at my brother Rick's, my oldest brother Rick's, and he's got a paint booth. This is what we're going to be using to paint Well, once we get it prepared. It's what we're going to be using to paint my truck in. And you've never used that booth? Never. Never used it. it when he bought this Only property... Seven years. Right. Seven years you've been using it for storage, yes. right? <laughs> like I would probably use it for if I had it. But anyway... Garage. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, this is the area. It was purpose built as a paint booth. We've never used it as one, but that's what the intentions are, is to get this thing into good enough shape to where we can use it and hopefully get a pretty much dust free paint job on my truck. So uh, let me take you in here and I'll show you around, show you what we're working with and what we need to do. And then we've got to make it happen. So here's a look inside of the booth. What's the dimensions, Rick? Did, did you? 16 by 28, foot, yep, ceiling. painted plywood walls, yep, 10 foot ceiling. We got filters that I'll show you. They go in the roof and an exhaust fan. I mean, what else do you need? We can wash this thing down. We've got, I brought lights to give me some light from the bottom so I can see what I'm doing, spraying down low because we've got good light up top. I don't know, you know, we just got to get our air plumbed in here, get the stuff that's stored in here out and, uh, you know, get it ready to spray. I need Elizabeth to be my camera girl. Yeah, I know. She ain't interested in me filming. This is fairly heavy. Well, at least for one person. Oh, goodness, it is. Yeah, boy. Where are we putting it? Take it up by the road. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Expensive edge, man. I bet it is. Use flat wood first. Yeah. So like we mentioned, this paint booth has been a storage unit basically for the last seven years. My brother's never painted a car in it. I've obviously never painted in it either. So we're just curious to see how well it's going to work out. Now, 
I know a lot of people are like, man, I'd love to have a paint booth in my shop. But just think about it this way. You're going to work on a car, if you're just doing it for pleasure, you're going to work on that car for months. And you're going to spend maybe a day, you know, painting it. So your paint booth that you built is going to end up being a storage shed, most likely, just like what my brother's got here. So once we get all this stuff out of here, we're going to start running the air system or the airline into the paint booth for my brother's compressor. But before I show you that, the airline, let me show you a couple of my brother's projects that he's working on at the moment. He's a he's a gearhead as well. What year's this uh, El Camino, Rick? 85. 85 Chevy El Camino. This is what my brother's working on. Yeah, El Rusto. <laughs> These were pretty bad about rusting. And this is one that he's working on. He's just now getting started on it. It needs, you know, quite a, quite a bit of extensive work. But, you know, he's done this you know, a hundred times, so... Gonna make a nice car. He's got a parts car that he's gonna, you know, scab parts off of. Actually, a very nice car that was hit right in the passenger side door, extremely hard. And uh, I'll give you a shot of that in just a second. Here's a door that he's working on. See, it's all rusted out down in the bottom. You guys may remember that I put a door skin on the uh, the driver's side door of mine, and that's what he's doing here. Here's the outer sheet metal for the door. Where did you pick these up, Rick? Did you bought them from? Actually, I, I had them used. So they've been bumped around. Yeah, yeah. Are they GM? No. No, they're the aftermarket. Panel, yes. The quarter panel. Yeah. They're... Actually, those fit pretty good. Though. Yeah. This is. Yeah, he bought these used, and he's in the process of cutting out, you know, the rust, remaking the bottom of the bottom of the door frame. So he's already got this door here done. Skin. Yeah, done. skinned, right. <laughs> yeah, none of the filler work's been done on it. But it'll go from looking like, you know, that, obviously, to, you know, really nice, nice piece. He's got the bottom lip cut out. They tend to always rot out at the bottoms, and you can see this is the lip that he cut out. And you can see previous body work here, where somebody's come in and just patched it up is what they did. And, uh, but he's going an extra step farther and just cutting out any of the bad metal. Because that's, if you want them to last, I mean, that's, it's a lot of extra work. But it makes, it makes the difference in between a quality restoration or rebuild, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, you know, some patched together car. But this one definitely needs some extensive work. But uh, it'll come back around. Yeah. Here's a piece that he cut out of the donor car. It's going to go right there. No. Where? Oh, yeah, that's the, right here. The V pillar. Yeah. Bottom of the V pillar. See how eaten out that is? And he'll cut that out and, you know, scab that right in. And you, really, you'll, you'll never know that that was ever replaced and it'll be as good as it ever was. Huh? A little piece or third, 80 bucks. If you. You can buy this restamped, mm -hmm. but this this is out of your parts car. This is a, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you you don't know until you get them stripped. They're really not worth fixing, but I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> well, my truck wasn't worth fixing, to be honest. I mean, it, it depends on who you are. It depends on you know if you've already got it. it. I just, just take it back There's the chassis. Right, that's your, that's your that's the chassis out from under the car. Get ready to send it off. He's got a couple spots that he's got to repair here where body mounts had rusted, but this is in pretty good shape actually. It's gonna get sandblasted, and then you're gonna coat it with the epoxy probably, maybe, maybe or powder coat it. Really decided yeah. something. Uh, I'd, I'd rather do something like it. Spray pretty easy. Yeah. It ain't gonna set out when it's done anyway, but. Yep, so there's the chassis. And here's the parts car. 
this thing was just hit so hard you know, got it just bent everything even even busted the dash got in there so hard ruined the seat frame I mean everything on this car you would think this would be easier to fix than the one that's uh, in there on the on the rack but that's you know not always the case this just hit so hard but it does have a bunch of good parts on it that he's going to be using to restore the other one all the chrome moldings and stuff I mean you're talking a fortune if you had to buy each one of those parts individually patch panels a lot of good parts left in this old car it was really nice at one time and it starts right up and drive to it yeah but it's healed yeah just crushed <laughs> and you're going to be putting this the engine from motor, this motor transmission rear ends going in in the one on the rack on the rack I'll take your ride in it later. We'll yeah. go cruising. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing the seats. Here's the El Camino seat. It's done. I had to put all the frames to the bottom and one passenger backrest frame in it. That's the seat that's going to go in your El Camino when you're yeah. finished. It's all fixed and working now. Tracks are adjusting. This is the original seat frame out of the one that's on the rack, right? The covers. The cover, no. I changed the tracks and the bottom metal pan and that metal frame. Okay. This is original and armrest original. Yeah. The seat frame in this, though, is out of the one that's on the rack. No. The old the, car. The, the straight frame is. Yeah. This, this but the board. covers are out of the uh, donor the rec, car. The rec donor yeah. car, yeah. So you're just reusing those. Looks they good. Actually, haven't been done too long, I don't think. Yeah, looks really good. What's this seat here? I built that one for another guy. You just haven't picked it up yet. Looks really good. After you were to see that thing when I started, <laughs> it was junk. Looks really good. It's carbon fiber inserts. It feels a little weird. Yeah, that is a that is a pretty car there, Rick. Pretty neat. Yeah. No, I gotta put all the seats and the phone and everything in these. They're just kinda gone. <laughs> yeah. What year was this you said? Seventy four. Seventy four, yeah that is. That's just nothing left there. worked hard on this. Yeah. The paint's really nice on this car. I mean, you know, it's pretty nice. Yeah. It seems like no matter how big you build the building. Never big enough. Yep. Floor. Yep. Blow out all the cracks. We'll come in here with air. We'll blow out all the cracks. We'll have that fan on. You know, wet everything down. I think it'll work out really good. Thank you. Yeah, I think that's plenty well lit. I mean, maybe it wouldn't hurt potentially to have one up front. You know, I don't know. You know, like I said, this would be the first car I've ever painted. I mean, I've painted portions of cars, you know, fenders and hoods and odds and ends, but, you know, it was never, never a complete job, so this will be my first. I'm interested to see how it turns out. But if, you, you know, if a person was going to build one of these booths, yeah, floor drain, tin or something on the walls or, you know, some waterproof walls and... You know, that way you can hose her down and 
get all the dust under control. Maybe in preparation. I've yeah. seen really good paint jobs come out of barns. Yeah. Yeah. So this is my brother's air compressor. Now, up until now, he's just ran air hose straight from the compressor to whatever you know air tools that he's using, which hasn't been a ton up to this point. But he's getting ready, you know, because of the car that he's building and because of the truck that I'm doing, we want to get this air system set up to a point to where, you know, it's paint ready basically. And he wants to run an air system in this shop to make just just make it nicer because I'll tell you the air system that I set up in my shop you know I don't regret that at all man what a nice setup highly recommended and we're going to do basically the same thing in this building oh yeah whole bong maybe this this is not big enough I don't want to scratch it here oh, you want. Oh, let me turn this around I got a great big pipe wrench if that will do. <coughs> it did it. We'll make it. Oh, we'll make it. We'll make it, make it. Beautiful. Um, Perfect. Looks good. Looks like we intended to do it that way. No. Oh, you brought screws too? Yep. Oh, I brought oh. I wanted anything I thought we may need. Alright. Well, that is big. Yeah, that's big. Look at that. Good lord. That would deliver the air, Rick. I'd say so. Basically, Zero pressure drop for, you know, oh, our intended purposes anyway. Yeah. I appreciate you me do this. Oh, hey, I, I enjoy it. Out It'll work out. piece off that end and watch your head. Yeah. <laughs> I won't have to tell you but once. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you hit it. If you hit that lift with your forehead, you, you will know. Let me tell you, you are not gonna be very happy. No. Um, probably. Hold on. I'm just deburring this. Look at how it does that. Can you look? See how it champers that? Because it pushes up on it. It pushes up on an O-ring. Yep. I'll show you how it connects. You got the first clip? Yeah. I guess we can just pull off that one every two or three feet. 
and uh, that way it looks even and we'll straighten the tubing as we go down the wall that way it looks like somebody with some sense put it in and yeah we got it cool that looking better yeah it looks good nothing good wrong with that this is the hardest you've worked in what years? I've worked this hard today. <laughs> so, I'm just giving you a hard time, Rick. Good. Good. All right. Flat wheel. Oh, you already got it. That's what I used. I used my foundation laser. I bought it for that building. And it was so worth it. I don't regret buying that at all. I was going to bring it, but I didn't figure you'd want to use it for this. Yeah. It's going to look a lot better than that paint job. <laughs> I hope you're wrong. Oh, go ahead and do it. Oh, oh. just just start. Jeez, jeez. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> this way. Well, I'm behind. Let's start from about there. So one there. And one there. Let me see it. Pencil right. Yeah. Yeah, just sit. sit there. Yeah, just kind of chillax. I think, well, I think you must have that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it didn't go yeah, it didn't go like I thought it would. Kind of, kind of ran into some issues and had to sit yeah, and think about it. Do it again. Yeah. 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 So these just screw in. Just put Teflon around them. Mm -hmm. That's good enough. Yep, that's what I did. I always wrap them backwards the first time until I figure out I'm doing, I'm doing it wrong. Then I just turn it around just like I just now did. Yeah, that's what I do too. It always works really good that way. That way you figure out which way you really want. <laughs> You know it's tight when it squeaks good. It's tight. It's tight. <laughs> the squeak it's is what squeaky. tells you when you're right, when you're done. Yeah. So we're pretty much wrapping up the installation of this three-quarter inch Max Line kit. 
I mean, it's about as straightforward as it gets, really. Run the line down the wall from your compressor. You can tie in anywhere you want uh, for the manifolds. This kit, the master kit, comes with three manifolds. Now, my brother's going to put five total uh, in his system, but for just for now, we're putting in the, in the three. So, highly recommended kit. Not a paid endorsement, right? Got the same setup in my shop. I, I've loved it. No leaks. You know, and I, I know at any time I can just come back and tie in a manifold if I move a piece of equipment or just want a fitting, you know, at some random place for, for some reason. So this kit is super nice, and uh, I definitely don't regret putting it in my shop. They look all right. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Man, that's a beautiful car. Gosh, I love the color, man. I drove into town today. I needed to get a little while. What a beautiful car. Pretty color. I really like the color. A lot. I know. They, it's like they aim for it. Is this good enough to wipe it off? It won't hurt none, will it? So, I got the way. Come off. Yeah. So with these lights on the side shining up, you can really you can really see the side of a vehicle much better than with just the lights above. So oh, yeah. that when you, you go tell. to paint, you'll you'll definitely be able to tell you know what's going on a lot better with these lights down low. You can see it real good, it ain't shadowed bad at all. Man, what a beautiful car! It's full, but the valve's not on. I haven't, the, this has nothing in it. Well, let's see what's happening. Let's see if it holds. I pressurize it slowly. We got something open in there. Sounds like maybe. Did you have the, was the valve open? Yeah. Okay, it's pressurized. Don't hear Just spray a little soap on the fittings. Is it? This stuff's not bad to leak. It's really not. No leak so far, huh? Not, not yet. Yeah, that little leak right here on 
this just needs tightened. It, is, it won't quit. No, just we'll have to. What we have to do is take it back off, uh, shut the valve at the compressor, drain this line, take mm -hmm. this back off, retape it, and put it back in. Or try to tighten it up one more turn if you can. So afternoon one, made good progress. Got our airline all the way from the compressor all the way around to outside of the booth. We're going to do some future modifications and run it just a little farther because that's what he wants for the shop. But as far as what I need for the, for the use of this paint booth, air's all set up. And uh, he's real happy with the system. I knew, I knew he would really like it. We got to clean our filters still. Obviously, got to wash out the booth really well. But other than that, you know, got to do the filters. Did I already say that? Maybe. I don't know. I'm tired. But anyway, it's looking good. I'm excited. I think this is going to work awesome. So this old truck is 99.9995% ready for, for paint. And I've done all I can do. I've wet checked all these panels. And at least as of now, I am calling it. I think the body work on this is plenty good enough. It's probably better than what you know the majority of folks would, would do. Not because I'm better at body work than you know, a lot of people. I just may have more patience uh, than some. And I have struggled to get this thing as close as I can within reason. And I think we're there. Other than a few jams and stuff that need scuffed, this thing's pretty much ready for color. So I am going to go over to my dad's place. We're going to grab the GoPro. I'm going to take you guys with me. We are going to pick up his 1978, I think. I think it's a 78 four-wheel drive uh, long box uh, square body, just like this, basically. We're going to pick up his trailer as well. We're going to bring that down here in preparation for loading this thing on and taking it over to my brother's. Now, I could drive this all the way over there, but that's kind of taking a chance, and this thing's just not... It's not there yet. It's close, but not there yet. Plus, i got to break in these axles, and they don't like interstate uh, driving for their first, you know, break-in. So, let's grab the GoPro, hop in the car, go over to my dad's, and get that truck and trailer. So maybe if we're lucky, we'll see some, some animals and stuff on the way. Maybe some white-tailed deer or something.
decided to rain a little bit. Nice old truck. Get a quick look at the garden. They already picked all their beans. Zucchini, all that. Corn's doing okay. We had a dry spell. Kind of stunted, but not too bad. And there's Butters. Hey, Butters. What are you doing? Huh? Let's go inside. No, she's uh, she's at the house. She wasn't going to come with me. No, no, she didn't come with me. She's uh, she's going to bring me up here in the morning to get my car. Here's the truck we're going to be hauling it with. A lot of you guys have seen it before. The trailer. What's new, Daddy O? What's new? Yeah, trailer lights. Yeah. Okay. Baloney sandwich. <laughs> yeah. Hey, baloney sandwich. Ain't nothing wrong with a baloney sandwich. Especially when Granny makes them. <laughs> this old truck's got a great patina on it. This is the kind of truck you just clean up and drive. Almost no rust. Solid old truck. Oh, I put a, a spare tire in, in the truck if you need what's needed. Okay. okay. Don't know of anything else. Buddy, you've been fed. You 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 just a big pig. You've been fed. You don't need nothing else. No. He sure could probably he, use a bite of bologna sandwich though. He did it all. I know. But he's been fed. <laughs> he can have the crust. How about some crust? There's a reason why they call him a dog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I just knocked water on me. I pulled the lid off, a leaf off. See you guys in the morning. Okay. See you, butters. don't have cup holders in them. 
but the dash works good for a can holder. So made it home safe with the truck and the trailer, and I guess the next job, which we'll do next week, is load this thing up along with all the parts and pieces that I've got and uh, you know, take it over to the paint booth. Maybe even spray some paint next week. You know, I'm not making any promises, but that's kind of the plan. Still got a little bit of work to do over on the booth. Got to install our, our water separator and our airline. Got to get that booth cleaned out a little bit better than what it is now. And you know, some of that is stuff that you do the day of the job. And you know, several other little things, but the vast majority has been taken care of this week, and I really appreciate you guys coming along for, for the ride. You know, it was a very, very busy week. Can't wait to share with you the color that we got uh, picked out for this thing. Some of you will love it, some of you won't, but that's perfectly fine. Um, you know, they sell vehicles in a million and one different colors for a reason. They sell them out there in hot pink. I wouldn't drive one, but they do obviously sell them because they make them, so, you know, I think you'll like it. You know, we'll see. So that's it, I guess, for this week. So thanks for watching. Viewers, patrons, subscribers, and anybody who's helped me out. Definitely appreciate it. Couldn't have done it without you guys. So that's it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. The birds fly south as the